So you want to be one of the cool kids and become a hacker, an ethical hacker that is. Well, in this video, we're going to go over the top certifications to get you a job to become a full on ethical hacker. If this is the first time that we're meeting, my name is John Good. I'm a cybersecurity professional, trainer, YouTuber, and all the above. If you like the video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to see the description for resources related to this video. I'll include some links to some books to get you ready. And there's also some other ways that you can show your support for the channel. All right, let's get to it. Now, there's no question that penetration testing and ethical hacking is one of the coolest cybersecurity jobs that exists. Of course, we have to thank Hollywood for this because they make it look so awesome in all the movies that they make, even though some of it is not actually accurate, but it still is one of the coolest jobs that is in cybersecurity. So which certifications are the best to actually learn ethical hacking skills and potentially get you an ethical hacking job? Now, the first certification is the Pentest Plus. This is from CompTIA. And with the Pentest Plus, this is actually a really new certification. It was released in 2018, so really recently. And as far as the exam, the exam, you have a max of 85 questions. Okay, so you could have less. You'll see performance and multiple choice questions. You get 165 minutes to complete the exam. And then in order to pass, you have to get a 750 score. Now with CompTIA, they scale the score, so it's between 100 and 900. So that 750 to you actually doesn't mean anything. It's just the, the actual score that has to show on your exam to show that you passed. There's no prerequisites for the exam. So you could walk in and just take the exam. The cost is 349 US dollars. Now, some of the pros of the Pentest Plus. One of the major benefits of the Pentest Plus is that CompTIA is a really well-known certification body. They make the Security Plus and the Network Plus, the A Plus, all these certifications that people know about. Also, since the certification is new, you're getting up-to-date information. That's very helpful. Now, some of the cons of the Pentest Plus, well, CompTIA is known and has a reputation for having some of the entry-level certifications. So again, the A+, and Network+, the Security+. Plus. So it kind of falls in there as far as reputation. Also, the Pentest Plus isn't listed a whole bunch as far as certifications that people really want or people trying to fill jobs. Now the second certification, or since we're going in reverse, the number four certification is the CEH, Certified Ethical Hacker. And this comes from EC Council. As far as the exam, there's 125 questions, four hours to take the exam. You only get multiple choice questions. Now with exams, there's a lot of exams out there that are only multiple choice. So with multiple choice, it's a lot of being able to memorize facts and things like that. For experience, the CEH actually requires you to either have two years of experience and then you have to go through an eligibility um, form submission and basically pay an extra fee for them to check it off. Or you can take a training course, which is going to be substantially more expensive because it has to be one of their approved vendors. Now, as far as the pros of the Certified Ethical Hacker, the certification's been around for a long time. So, you know, a lot of people, human resources, they know what the Certified Ethical Hacker is. And with that being said, the Certified Ethical Hacker shows up in a lot of job postings. So that can be helpful to get you an interview. Now, as far as the cons, the Certified Ethical Hacker does seem to attract some bad publicity. It focuses a lot on tools. 
some of which are out of date and that can lead to you not necessarily having the newest up to date skill set so that's kind of a downside and realistically outside of the defense sector it's not seen as valuable of a certification as if you were in the defense sector because it's actually listed on the 8570 mandate for the DOD. And the third certification is the GPEN, which comes from GIAC, and that's the GIAC Penetration Tester. The exam is 82 questions to 115 questions, and you get three hours to take the exam. You need a 74% pass. Now with the GPEN, GIAC certifications are arguably some of the most admired certifications that exist for cybersecurity. Also, materials are updated very frequently, so you're guaranteed to have the latest and greatest type of information in there. Those are some great benefits. What are some cons then? Well, as far as cons, GIAC certifications are very expensive. The SANS training that accompanies the certification is generally around $7,000 or so to go to a conference or to go to the course online. Now, without the training, if you just want to self-study and take the exam, you're looking at about $1,500. And the downside of that is if you actually go to a conference or do the official training, they will give you the books and course material that the exam is made on. So that's a huge benefit. If you self-study, well, then you're gonna have to put together a lot of different materials based on the exam outline. And it's potentially going to be a lot more difficult to actually be able to pass. One way around the high cost for the GPEN exam and training is that you can actually volunteer as a facilitator for a SANS conference, okay? Now what happens with this is basically you're volunteering your time, so you go and you you know help set up. If the instructor needs something for the course, you would go get it and things like that. So you're helping out the conference. And in exchange, the course, and the certification ends up only being $1,500. Now that's really nice, but there's kind of a caveat to that. If you're going to a conference that is not in the city that you live in, you have to actually pay for your travel and your hotel and all that stuff. So realistically, even though you get the conference discount, you're probably looking at at least $3,000 if you're going to stay in a hotel. That puts the cost about $4,500. And of course, depending on which conference you're going to, you can look at the actual cost for the hotel because SANS will put it on their website. But ideally, if you can get selected for that, you would want to have it in your own town because $1,500 isn't that bad. Obviously that's kind of expensive, but compared to like the $7,000, that's actually fairly reasonable. Of course, if you can get your company to pay for it, then definitely do that. Now, the second certification is the ECPPT, eLearn Security Certified Professional Penetration Tester. Now, on this, this is a practical penetration test for the exam. You get seven days to actually penetrate a virtual network that they will give you credentials to. And then you have to write a penetration testing report based on your findings. The cost for this certification is about $1,200 up to $1,600 with the training, depending on the package that you select. You could also do just the exam, which is $400 for the exam voucher. But especially in circumstances like this, I would highly recommend that you do the training and not just try to go for this certification exam. Now, for the pros, practical exams are always one of those things that earns more respect than if you're just doing a multiple choice exam because it shows that you can learn a certain skill set and you can actually put it into use. You also get practice documenting the steps that you took. After all, when you become a penetration tester, you actually have to do this. You have to document all the steps that you took 
and say, this is how I got in and this is what was wrong and this is what needs to be fixed. So that's an important skill set. And the con for this certification is that eLearn security certifications aren't listed in a ton of job postings right now. It's increasing. I've definitely seen it show up in some, but it's a newer certification. So it doesn't have the same kind of ring as some of these other certifications do. Now, are you ready for it? The number one certification to get to become an ethical hacker or penetration tester. And it's the OSCP, the Offensive Security Certified Professional. Now with the exam, this is one of the ones that people know about. You get 24 hours in an exam environment to penetrate several different systems. Each system that you can penetrate has different points based on how difficult the box is. After the exam, you have 24 hours to write a penetration testing report based on your findings. You can also gain extra points by doing all the lab exercises from the course materials leading up to the exam. And then you submit that with your report. The cost is $800 up to $1,150. So $1,150, depending on how much lab time that you want. Now, some of the pros of this exam are that, again, it's a practical exam. That's really beneficial. You get tons of experience in the lab environment. The lab environment for the OSCP is known as one of the best lab environments that you can find. And then also the OSCP is a highly sought after certification. Everybody knows the OSCP and that it takes a ton of effort and research and studying to actually pass the exam. As far as the cons, training is fairly basic. You learn the most by researching and actually practicing skill sets. The experience is also different compared to other certifications because you really have to go into it with a plan. You can't just rely on the certification to lead you through. You really have to plan out what you're going to do and your study time and how you're going to approach things. Also, you're going to hear the phrase, try harder nonstop. So you have to be determined with research. And when I say try harder, that is the OSCP motto, right? Um, they're not going to give you or hand feed you a lot of the information. You really have to be willing to research and put in the time outside of the lab environment, in the lab environment, on the exam, all these different areas. So you really have to be a self-starter on this exam compared to a lot of the other exams. As you can see, there's a lot of certifications out there and they all have their pros and cons that you have to evaluate depending on what you're looking for out of a certification. Think about the type of learning environment that you want. Do you want to start out with the most difficult, like the OSCP certification? Do you want more handholding while you learn some of those initial skills? Now in the description below, I'm going to put some resources that are going to actually help you get ready for these certifications and help you prepare. A couple of the books that I'm gonna put in there. The first one is the Hacker Playbook 3, so this guy. And the next one that I'm gonna put in there is the Web Application Hacker's Handbook, this guy. And both of these books contain a lot of good information. Depending on the certification exam that you go for, there's going to be, you know, obviously a specific official courseware manual that you're going to want to know as well, because that's going to have a lot of the stuff that you're going to be judged on or scored on. But definitely the more information that you can absorb as it relates to ethical hacking, the better. So make sure to check out the description as well. Question of the day, which ethical hacking certification are you planning on going for this year? Let me know down in the comments. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.